The genius of the American system is that we do this so naturally and so normally. There are no soldiers marching in the street except in the inaugural parade. No public demonstrations for some, except for some of the dancers at the inaugural ball. The opposition party doesn't go underground, but goes on functioning vigorously in the Congress and in the country. I congratulate you and pledge to you our fullest support and cooperation in bringing about an orderly transition of government in the weeks ahead. During the next few days, I will work hard to make sure that the transition from myself to the next president is a good one, that the American people are served well. To a few of us here today, this is a solemn and most momentous occasion. And yet in the history of our nation, it is a commonplace occurrence. The orderly transfer of authority as called for in the Constitution routinely takes place as it has for almost two centuries and few of us stop to think how unique we really are. In the eyes of many in the world, this every four-year ceremony we accept as normal is nothing less than a miracle. It's sinking in now, the enormity of what has taken place, peaceful election, eventually a peaceful transfer of power. Let's finish this job with style. Let's get the job done. Cooperate fully with the new administration. The government goes on as well it should, and we will support the new president and give him every, every chance to uh, lead this country into greater heights. The peaceful transfer of power from one administration to the next, from one party to another, may confound others around the globe, but it reflects the underlying strength of our Constitution and rule of law. Um, one message that I have, and I think we all share, is that we want you to succeed. Whether we're Democrat or Republican, uh, we care deeply about this country. In 10 days, the world will witness a hallmark of our democracy. No, 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 no. The peaceful transfer of power from one freely elected president to the next. I committed to President-elect Trump that my administration would ensure the smoothest possible transition, just as President Bush did for me. This week, we inaugurate a new administration and pray for its success in keeping America safe and prosperous. We extend our best wishes, and we also want them to have luck, a very important word.